हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम राहुल वासवानी टुडे वी विल गो थ्रू न्यूरोमस्कुलर जंक्शन सो व्हाट इज न्यूरोमस्कुलर जंक्शन इट इज़ अ जंक्शन बिटवीन अ नर्व फाइबर एंड अ मसल फाइबर फ्रॉम वेयर नर्व फाइबर विल बी ट्रांसफरिंग इट्स सिग्नल टू दी मसल फाइबर व्हिच रिजल्ट्स इन दी कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ मसल सो बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दी न्यूरोमस्कुलर जंक्शन लेट मी टॉक अबाउट रिफ्लेक्स आर्क बिकॉज वी नीड टू नो अबाउट द मोटर न्यूरोन बिकॉज while going through muscular contraction always the nerve which innervates the muscles is the motor neuron okay uh, so if you know about the reflex arc uh, when any harmful substance or anything uh, which comes in contact with our skin uh, there are receptors which will go through it and there are sensory nerve fibers which will carry the signals to the spinal cord uh, so it is the receptor on our skin whenever any hot object or any harmful substance will touch it then it will stimulate a signal which will be carried to the spinal cord why spinal cord not to the brain because we need a, a sudden action so we go to the spinal cord it is sensory neuron which sends the agent any harmful agent or any substance and takes the signal to the spinal cord it is called sensory neuron then going to the spinal cord sensory neuron relays in the spinal cord and then a signal is carried to the muscle nearby the receptor which is called motor neuron motor neuron will perform the function to contract or relax against the stimulus it is motor neuron so uh, what the motor neuron has the function it has the function to contract the muscle it will re relay into the muscle like you can see here and another thing we need to talk about the motor neuron is when we talk about a neuron there is a, a dendrite zone and cyton then there is axon and axon terminal in motor neuron here is the dendrite and cyton or cell body and axon is here which will end into the muscle okay so here will be formed the neuromuscular junction okay so now we will get to the neuromuscular junction this is axon and it is axon terminal motor neuron will relay into the muscle not only a single muscle it can also relay into multiple muscles or muscle fibers okay here is the muscle and it is the junction between nerve fiber and muscle fiber we will draw it in detail it was the neuron terminal or axon terminal it is also called the button terminox here are some vesicles called synaptic vesicles they are filled with the neurotransmitter inside them here are the neurotransmitters and on to the another membrane that is called called is post synaptic membrane if it is post synaptic membrane then it is pre synaptic membrane and 
and area between them is synaptic cleft or the neuromuscular junction these are the receptors present in the postsynaptic membrane these receptors have the ligand gated channels which are actually sodium channels these are sodium channels some channels are also present on the presynaptic membrane these are also sodium and calcium channels sodium or calcium channels so here the nerve fiber when it will receive a stimulus from the dendrite it will go through the axon and reach the axon terminal here when it will reach axon terminal at that time the membrane from the inside is negatively charged and when the stimulus is received it gets positively charged why because sodium and calcium channel will come into the cleft or will come into the terminal end of the axon here are the calcium channels which can also come inside so when they will come inside they will push the synaptic vesicles against the wall when these vesicles will be pushed against the walls they will join with the membrane this membrane is also called the sarcolemma and they will join with the sarcolemma and form a single membrane after forming a single membrane they will burst outside and this process is also called as exocytosis after exocytosis these neurons will get into the cleft after getting into the cleft these neuro neurotransmitters will reach to the sodium channels when these neurotransmitters will bind to the sodium channels these channels will open when these channel will open sodium ions present outside the membrane will go into the membrane of muscle fiber okay so when sodium ion will reach the muscle membrane or uh, muscle fiber these muscle fiber will generate a impulse here after sodium channel has entered these muscle fiber generating the impulse after generating the impulse they will lead to the contraction of muscle okay so when the contraction is over these neurotransmitter will be degenerated by a enzyme called choline esterase choline esterase what is this choline esterase choline esterase is an enzyme which will break down the neurotransmitter which neurotransmitter acetylcholine acetylcholine is a kind of neurotransmitter which is normal responsible for the contraction of muscles this acetylcholine is formed by acetyl coenzyme plus choline and they both will form acetyl choline which is our neurotransmitter this acetyl choline has bound to the uh, membrane gated channels or the sodium channels after its work of contraction it will be degraded by the choline esterase choline esterase will again break it down into the acetyl and choline this acetyl and choline after uh, this will be again transported to the presynaptic membrane where it can again be utilized which choline and acetyl okay 
so after the neurotransmitter has unbound from the uh, channels it will again lead to the closure of channel so the channels will be again closed okay after the closure of channels the contraction will be over and relaxation will start okay so let us talk about the summary in points first point will be arrival of stimulus to the neuron and neuron end okay so arrival of the stimulus to the neuronal end after the arrival second point will be influx of the calcium ions through the channels into the vesicle and third point will be after influx the vesicles will be pushed against the wall fourth point will be neurotransmitter will be released from these vesicles and will go and attach to the uh, receptors present on the postsynaptic membrane here so fifth point will be after attaching to the membrane or the receptors present on the postsynaptic membrane the sodium influx will occur inside the muscle fiber so this will be our six point so then a neurotransmitter will degenerate by the enzyme choline esterase and it will lead to the closure of membrane or the closure of the receptors present on the postsynaptic membrane okay